What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street and I'm back again for the fourth or third time in four months. I've been taking breaks, just chilling at my house, doing nothing, playing a little bit of Madden. But y'all already heard this story. Y'all I say I'll be busy. Sometimes I'm not busy. Sometimes I am. But y'all heard this story already. I'm gonna make it up to y'all though. Make it up to y'all right now. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm doing. But uh, if you ever want to play me in any game, you want to play with me in any game, hit me up. My, my Xbox One Gamer Tag, it's on the screen for this whole video, and it's in the description. Um, you want to play me, I only got I don't got that much games, but I do, I got Titanfall if y'all want to play, but I got Call of Duty, you know, UFC, you come get kicked on, Madden, you can come get kicked on. I got 2K. I'm not really that good in 2K. Y'all might kick on me in 2K if, if we do play. But we like play on the park. And y'all might be able to join the Wall Street gang. You feel me? Y'all y'all got to put on the Black Timbs though. Y'all got If you want to be part of my team, my park, my park squad, you join in that Wall Street. You got to put on the Black Timbs and then we be out. You feel me? I got the tank top, the gray tank top on. Got the cargo pants with the Black Timbs. And we be balling out here. We always ready to fight. We always got the Timbs on, ready to stomp somebody out. But that's a whole nother story. But that's how I'm gonna try to make it up, make it up to y'all. Have y'all in the videos more. If you play me and we, and we play each other, I'm definitely, definitely recording it, and I'm definitely gonna put it up, even if I win or if I lose. I'm a commentator for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you seem real nice. If you are losing, I'm gonna say, oh, you had a cold this day. You had the flu. But if you do kick on me, then we gonna have some problems. You know what I'm saying? But you know, play me, man. Play me in 2K. Play me in Madden. Play with me in Call of Duty. I'll upload it. Little subscriber sessions, I think. I should probably would call it or something like that. I don't know. I just be tight bored. But another way I'm gonna make it up. Madden 16 is coming out August 26th or 25th. I'm not really sure because I don't really keep up with dates like that. But I am making this movie. It's gonna be eight episode so the basically the week that before madden 16 comes out the last episode is going to be on the day that it comes out either the 26th or the 25th and i'm gonna need y'all if you got grand theft auto 5 for the xbox one leave your gamer tag in the comment section and send me a message on on the xbox if you want to be a part of this movie i'm making with quincy blunt and daniel taylor y'all gonna need to play these roles right quick if y'all knew i gotta go back and look look at my football life series how i've been doing it and i probably gonna need somebody to people to play some roles play some gang members play play a girl you feel me y'all just i got everything planned out i got all the stuff that's gonna happen i got the words that's gonna be said everything's going all right i just need the people to do it so the one position I'm really going to need, even if not a lot of people come, I really do need, like, one person to play, like, Daniel Taylor to play Quincy Blunt. I'm not sure which one I'm going to play, you know, like, a character, but um, that's what I'm going to try to do. And uh, I had one person, one other person that, that helped me. It was Peter Jaguars a while back in Madden 25. He had this little reporter role. He asked a question about, um, it was to Quincy Blunt about Daniel Taylor. I forgot the exact question. But he asked it for me. It was nice. We was all in the video. I put him up there. Real cool dude. You feel me? It was real nice of him to do it. So if y'all do want to be in one of those videos, I'll put your gamer tag in the description. You feel me? I'll put you out there. Give you a shout out. And I'll be very, very thankful for uh, for y'all to do that. Come do that with me. And I'm also going to help y'all out when Madden 16 come out. This past play that I'll be running with. I've, I've been playing, I played three seasons in uh, Madden 15, offline connected franchise. I played three seasons. And one, the first season with this pass play, I ran it about for like 90% of the games. I ran it for a lot of the games, the whole game. That's how good this pass play is. You don't need to change anything up, no hot routes, no nothing, just no huddle. Do whatever you want, get your reads right, and boom. I had 11 times. 11 touchdowns I had. I had like 800 something yards. This is on all Madden, no gas. Um, and I had 10,000 yards at the end of one season. You know, with Mike Glennon. I was really wild. I was really 
getting my, my reads is on point. The reads are so easy for this pass play. Like, this pass play is the best play in Madden 15. I, I wanted to make a tip video about it, but I never did because I'll be slacking. And uh, I'm pretty sure in Madden 16 with all this new stuff, all this news about how you can catch it and immediately turn up field and you can catch it and tiptoe out of bounds and catch it in traffic with the possession catch. This pass play is definitely going to be one of the greatest plays in the game. I will put that out. I'm going to put it out twice. Right now, I'm going to put it out probably after this video. And then when Madden 16 comes out, I'm going to put it out again to see if it's the same way, see if it's the same thing. And uh, hopefully they don't take it out. It's kind of a basic play. It's five wide receivers, five routes. Um, it's kind of basic, but I really hope they don't take it out. Because if they do, that's my whole offense. You feel me? That's what I'm doing right now. But that's the way I'm going to help y'all out, man. I, I want y'all to be in my videos a lot more. Just get y'all, get interacted with y'all a little bit, a lot more. You feel me? Because I can't be playing Madden by myself. Because when you do play Madden by yourself, with no party, nobody you talking to nobody else, you will see every dumb thing that Madden has to offer. You will focus on it and you will start getting mad because Madden is really a terrible game. But it's not that terrible. I do like playing Madden. Um, it's just that you play it by yourself for so long for a couple of months, a year and a half of playing Madden for so long. You'll know. You, you, you had enough with all the stuff that you see, all the catches you see, all the retarded gliding across the field to get the tackle and catch an interception upside down all that stuff you see it and you just get mad because there's nobody to nobody to talk to about it you feel me so if y'all want to talk to me invite me to a party or leave your leave your stuff i'll send you a message if sometimes i was just talking to this dude phantoms of fear and he he was like he just won the caval he just won the nba title with the cavaliers you feel me it was him Kyrie, and lebron <laughs> Uh, in 2K, so he was talking to me about that. He told me to go look up how to get a shoe deal. I'm like, I don't really know how to get a shoe deal, but my dude only an 80 overall, and we out here wilding on the courts. But um, as I said, man, if you do want to be in my videos, come in. Ask me. I'm trying to start playing this park stuff, so we gonna be the Wall Street gang on this park, the Wall Street squad, the team, the legion, the group. The family, you feel me, with the black Tims on. This would be always balling in black Tims. Um, I'm gonna put y'all in, in a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to include y'all in a lot of stuff because that's gonna make it better for for me and for other subscribers to watch. You know what I'm saying? Just just me, just talking to y'all, just determining everything, and just it's just a single person running it. It's not really all that fun as you just having a lot more people to interact with because then you get a lot more stuff, a lot more personalities to, to deal with and other stuff like that so it's gonna be good if y'all could tell by this video my team took a major beating right here my dude only like an 83 overall i'm tight black as i get this dunk though got the slam dunk my first points of the game and we out here wilding so that is the that is that is kind of the reason why i only uploaded three videos in the last three months i told y'all i didn't want to do that tim tebow thing in Madden, and I, and I didn't. I don't want to do that uh, Lewis Williams safety thing no more, because um, it's Madden. You feel me? I don't feel like editing a Madden video over and over again. I gotta take a break from those, cause let me tell you, this video right here was about 15 minutes. It's a full game. I ain't even cut none, no parts of the game out. I just trimmed it in the beginning, trimmed it at the end. That was it. Probably minute, one minute, 45 seconds it took me to edit this video. For a Madden video, Madden videos be like 30 to like 60 minutes in that range. And it'd be like 100 plays in it, depending on what I'm doing. Them Quincy Blunt and Daniel Taylor videos, they be so long, bro. I'd be mad just editing it. Like 20 to 15 to 25 minutes it takes to edit those videos. And to put that up on a daily basis, some people do it. I'm not knocking that. Some people do it, but I just really couldn't. Like, I really needed to take a break from it. And, you know, just build it build it back up coming towards Madden 16. But we did end up losing this game. Y'all probably knew it. I, I could have seen it coming. It was my first game. We was type whack. No communication. But Wall Street will be out here. We will be kicking on everybody on the park. Old time flyers. But this video is coming to an end, man. So always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out. <laughs>